Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to look at the Wolfspark 2.0 from Maxpedition. Uh, this is basically going to be an up close hands on look at things I really like and things I don't like so much. Um, look, it's gonna, it's no surprise for my regulars, but I'm a big VanQuest fan. I like VanQuest gear a lot as well as 5, uh, 511 Tactical. I like them both. My EDC products, my EDC gear, bags, backpacks, pouches are always in the gray. That's just what I like to use. I like the gray for my EDC. When it comes to the outdoor, the hiking and stuff of that nature, I like to use the tans, the browns. Uh, I like those a lot, even though, believe it or not, these really blend in well in the woods. Um, it's kind of odd there, but they do, but they do. Again, big fan of VanQuest. Um, I used to use Maxpedition way back in the day to me, and they still are. Maxpedition is kind of the OG of, of this type of gear, you know, and um, but they've changed over the years. Now, I ordered the Wolf Spur very recently, and I got another bag. I forget the name of it. I apologize. I will link to that video down below. I got another bag, and I will roll in some B footage to demonstrate for you, but the whole, I didn't get the Wolf Spur. I got another bag. But it was used. I'm not kidding. It was used. The whole, this this Hapalon material, although they don't call it Hapalon, maybe it's not. But another company, I'll demonstrate for that in a second, uses this uh, VanQuest, and it's called Hapalon. Same thing. But it was all. It looked terrible. Again, I'll roll in some B-roll here. But it looked horrible. Like it was used. I don't remember it looking like that when I got it because I I really feel like I would have noticed it. But it looked terrible. So I sent it back. Not only was it not the bag I wanted, right? Which was this one. This is the one I actually wanted. But it was damaged. It looked horrible. I sent it back and they ended up sending me this. Now, I've had this for quite some time now. I'm going to say give or take a month. Believe it or not, I've only used it one week out of the month. Just busy doing things. I didn't want to transfer stuff from one bag into this bag to use. I use this as my EDC bag every day for one week. And there's a couple things that I noticed and I'm, I'm already not happy with. Um, this is not a deal breaker, even though that does drive me nuts. It keeps kind of, anyway, uh, look, it's a fantastic bag. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the way it looks. I like the way it's designed. The materials I believe are really well, but there's some problems with that. We're going to talk about it. Um, I want to very quickly get out a couple, get out of the way, a couple of dimensions, stuff like that. So on their website, you're looking at about $200. It's 11 liter bag. On their website, $200. On Amazon, $150. That's a huge savings. That's a lot of money to $40 and $50, right? So you're looking at uh, 10 inches, six and a half inches. Yeah, 10, six, and the, uh, 11 high. The, it is tapered at the bottom. So the bottom will not be as wide as the top. You're looking at a thousand denier water, uh, abrasion resistant, light ballistic, nylon 500 denier hex ripstop, which is really nice. I love the way that looks. See that there? I, I really like that. I love the way that looks. And I know you can get all this off their website. I just want to go over a few things. Uh, lots of high tensile strength nylon webbing and thread, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, internal seams taped and finished. Yes. Stress points, double stitch, bar tack, circular bar tack. Yes. Yes. Uh, YKK zippers. Yes. UTX Duraflex nylon buckles for low sound closure. And Teflon fabric protector for grime resistant. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you can go on the website and look at all this stuff. Again, the biggest points here is 200 on the website, 150 on Amazon. And it only comes in two colors. Black, I believe just two. That's all I saw. Black and this gray. I want to tan, but every time I looked at tan, either wasn't available Sold out. It just wasn't there. So I went with the gray. I like the gray anyway. It's it's okay. Now, I'm going to start with the two things that, that, that I don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> so one is this. This is the bottom of the bag. Now, I don't put the bag down. I always hang the bag up. This is already coming un, undone. One week, people. 
Now, because the other bag I got was damaged, I looked this over really good when I got this. I didn't want to see anything and then question whether or not, again, was it like that? Did I get it like that? Did I do that? That was not like that one week. Now, is that, you know, that could be fixed, right? That's not, you know, but it shouldn't be coming like that. Can we get closer? Not a huge deal, but worth saying. And the side. See, this stuff is coming all apart. Shipping right there. See, it's starting to come apart. If you saw my other review, you saw that this material was just, it looked terrible. How close can I get? You see that? It looked so bad. And, I mean, that is really it for this bag. And the shoulder strap, the body strap is not removable. I would like it completely removable, but it's not. All right? Now, Keep those in mind, what you just saw. Let me take this out of the way. I apologize. I don't have a lot of room. I'm working on uh, a studio of sorts. Here's my VanQuest IBX35 from VanQuest. This is the Hapalon material. Okay. This is years old. Six years old, maybe? Five years old? Used heavily. How close can we get? See? A little dirty. But it looks fantastic. Five years ago, sorry about that. Five years ago, you have the Hapalon material on this side. Five years ago, I reviewed this water bottle holder, which comes separate. This is also made of that Hapalon material. Come on, go a little bit closer. Let's see, you get some scratches, you know, from in the woods and doing my thing. But it's not coming apart. There's more of that Hapalon material. Really good stuff. Very strong. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Uh, I don't know why. May, I mean, is there different types of Hapalon? I, I don't. I don't know. You know, like, is there a really good quality Hapalon? A really bad quality Hapalon? I'm not sure. But let's talk about the strap. I really. It is incredibly comfortable. Here is your shoulder strap. Or you go over your shoulder. It is the seatbelt webbing, really smooth, very nice. I mean, it's incredibly strong. Um, love that. Now the attachment points. Look at that. Here's a name. Yeah, That's really on there. So good. But it non-removable. Now I could probably count on one hand how many times I moved my straps. Here's my van. Here's my van quest bag. How many times I've removed the straps? But the fact is I did. I wanted to, I needed to at the time, and I could. I like options, and you can. Now one side, I really need a bigger studio, I really do, but one side here, this comes undone, and you can just hide it away, roll it up and hide it. But you know what? I just, I wanna remove it completely. I don't like the fact that you can do one side and not the other. While we're back here, Really comfortable, great quality padding up against your body. Ribbed, ridged valleys to breathe. Very comfortable, had no problem. Really like, it's not pad, but not a big deal. I like the grab handle a lot. Couple snaps, undo these snaps. You can go into the main compartment. No, sorry, this, is, this would be not the main compartment, the back of the bag. Opens up wide, look at that. You can put hook and loop uh, accessories in here. You can put handguns, some uh, magazines in there if you so wish. Really opens up wide. I like that. You have a couple of snaps here to kind of keep people from getting in there. It's not perfect, but it helps. Let's snap this back up. There we go. And there we go. On this strap here, the one that is removable, there is a small, but I'm not sure what you can put. You can put a, a, a multi-tool. I was carrying a Leatherman Wingman in there. You put a folding knife in there and your bliss stacks and maybe, maybe get a snicker bar in there while you're at it because, you know, we got to have our snacks, right? And let's go to this side. Here is that, that, that hex material there. Look, I really love that. Love that look. You do have an expandable water bottle holder. I will tell you, this little thing right here, come on, move. This little thing really works, because I kept doing this. 
Oh, it worked that time. I kept like, it worked. And I'm like, come on. And, oh, okay. I got to move that over. And it goes down. Nice and big. You get your hand down inside of there. I'm a big sucker for the, look at this. This is the big Powerade bottle. In there, no problem. Bring this over. Boom. When you don't want to, it doesn't tuck away and hide away a lot, but it does. There we go. And we're grateful for that. On this side of the bag, this is the side. It's got the Hapalon, which this is in place of, this here is in place of Pal's webbing, which you see there the last material on the packs for Molly pouches and so on. You have that there, even though it's coming under. By the way, zipper pulls, really, really like the zipper pulls. Very comfortable, really smooth YKK zipper. You do have the, uh, what I call inverted or inside out zipper tracks. Again, I'm a big fan of VanQuest. VanQuest does that on all their bags. Love that. How much water and or dirt, grime, dust does it keep out? That's questionable, but I like it. I like it a lot. There. I also had uh, a multi-tool in there, a knife. I kept, kept switching things around. I want to see how they look. What was the best way to carry stuff? Nice. And then the front, what I would call maybe your, your admin area. And there's a lot of zippers here. You're always like trying to find what zipper. Of course, if I had it longer, I used it longer than, than, than a week or so, uh, muscle memory would build and you would find, you would stage your zippers a certain way, which I've taken that time with all my other bags. I'm just not going to have this long enough to do that. I have a nice zippered pocket there. This is a good size pocket. I have big hands. You can put some stuff there. What I I have a pouch I carry with my my uh, all my diabetes equipment, uh, insulin ball syringes, test kits, so on. That it fit in there absolutely perfect. I zipped it up. And it was there, ready always if I need it. Here is that Hapalon uh, material in the front. Their logo on the front of the bag, the front top of the bag. You do have a hook and loop field. More of these great zippers, and boom, open it up. You got a nice big area. I put keys, um, cell phone in there if I didn't have it on my person, but a couple other different things. And I like the fact that there are two zippers. A lot of companies just put one zipper at the time on these pouches here. I like two. I had this bag on either side of me. It works both sides. I believe they designed this to be on your left side, Carrie, your left hip. I had it on both. It fit great either side. You'll see, you'll see that one side has this wing, we'll call it, and the other side does not. I would rather chop that and have two of these. I, I don't really need that extra. I, I don't really need that pouch there. But, but, but it was comfortable regardless. All right, let's see here. Now we have a really big main compartment. I believe it was at 11 liters. There is your main compartment. As you can tell on the bottom, it is smaller than it would be up at the top. One, two, one, two, three. Loops, zipper pouch, again, YKK zippers. On the inside, there is a little sleeve on this side, non-zippered, but a sleeve nonetheless. I don't recall myself actually using that. Nice big pocket there. Oh, what is that? I didn't notice that. Huh, you see that? Uh-oh, I did not notice that. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. Look at this, you know what this was? You know what this was? I do not, I just saw that right now. That was a strap that came down with a hook and loop to hook on that to close that. Look at that. What the hell? Holy shh. I just, I never even saw that before. This was brand new. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I can't, I, oh my God. I am like, sorry about, I just, I can't believe that. That was a strap. It was cut. I bought this brand new. Jesus. I, uh, well, 
<laughs> my intentions in this video was to kind of just talk about my experience with it and talk about um, what I have and and to do it quick and kind of show you up close and inside the pockets and so that 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 I can't believe that I can't believe that I just it's gonna have to stay I, it's gonna I have to release this video that's all there is to it um, that quite the disappointment I mean I, I was I was planning on selling it anyway I I I just, I'm I'm I don't know what to say I don't know what to say my plan wasn't to come on here and bash where's the, where's the zipper where's the zipper how would that happen how would that happen how would that happen there's no way i did that how would that happen am i i mean it's, please tell me if if i'm wrong say something somebody cut that i've been using the bag with that with, with no strap there no strap there i looked the bag over i did not see that Maybe it was like that, and I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm looking, you know, if I'm opening it up and I'm looking inside, I wouldn't see that. Wow. Well, uh, I'm sorry. I, it, I, I, <laughs> I really, really want to like that bag. It, I mean, can you tell? I really like that bag, but guess what? I, Van Quest it is. I'm sorry. Just wanted to know that doesn't have that in there. I was getting rid of the bag anyway. Now I'm definitely going to have to. I'm just going to return it. I was just going to sell it, but that's going back. Uh, wow, what a change in the video. I'm glad we saw that. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, the bag is going back. And I think, um, I, I look, I like Max Tradition. Maybe I just want to like Max. Is that possible? Like, I want to, want to like Max Petition, if that makes any sense at all. What a huge disappointment. I just saw that. Now, is that Max Petition's fault? Like, who would do that? Like, some guy in the warehouse, is he going around cutting straps? Why? Why? I think I'm going to have to make a phone call. But anyway, we'll leave it at that. I really appreciate you watching this video. I know this did not help you. Uh, maybe it did, if you're thinking about buying one. Um, my recommendation is to not. I'm sorry. Or if you do... Give it a really good look over. I can tell you that parts of the bag do not wear very well. They just don't. They don't. And uh, that is all just, I'm okay with a couple threads sticking out, but that is coming undone. That is coming undone right there. All right, that's it. Be well, everybody. Stay safe. Thank you so much for uh, watching this with me. And um, yeah, all right. I've said enough. Be well, stay safe. Do good.